hey you guys i did it this week i went back to aldi it has been a hot minute since i've gone in aldi because out of convenience i've been ordering my groceries online it's honestly been saving me a ton because i'm not picking up as much stuff i do still go and i will go through the clearance aisles and check out all those deals to like get extras but honestly i've been trying to save money and that has been the best thing for us last week i spent 135 dollars this week at aldi's i spent 208 so it's hit and miss aldi is still cheap for a lot of stuff but some of the things i noticed are trending in the higher amounts so still none of those are anywhere close to walmart and there are crazy prices where we live but you guys this video is in collaboration with my beautiful friend jessica myrost we host a monthly collab there will be a group playlist you guys know go watch those ladies give them all some love because they will all have grocery hauls and that will help motivate you guys to go grocery shopping find find out what the stores have that they shop at you know i just like to do that i love watching grocery hauls but you guys let's go ahead and get started okay you guys most of the stuff i buy at aldi is pretty much always the same stuff i got almond milk it was two i don't put the prices up here because that would honestly take like me a year to actually sit and do so i like to say the prices so i think these were on this may have been 219 today this was on sale today not by much like they did those little price tags in there where it was like five cents off they made it look like it was a big deal but it really wasn't to make you like to entice you to buy it so i got that always buy that but um vinegar it was cheaper to buy the big bottle I just don't have anywhere to put it right now, so I got the little one. It was $1.39. Milk. Milk was $2.69. Peanut butter. I don't even know what peanut butter is. We always buy that. We're out of peanut butter. Out of ketchup. It's usually better priced at um, things like that or condiments are better priced at Aldi. Got some carrots so they can sit and go bad in our fridge. You guys, I've never liked cucumbers. And now that I've gotten older, I've, I'm craving some cucumbers, like diced up with some stuff and seasonings. I don't know. How you do them but i forgot to get like the italian dressing but they sound good today i've never bought myself cucumbers gavin's the only person in the family that likes them these were baby ones they were cute raspberries were $1.99 blueberries were like four dollars and nine cents so i did not buy blueberries because they are not usually like the best and i'm not paying that for them so these were $1.99 on sale i do like raspberries strawberries hit slim pickings there because we're turning into the season you know it's fall things are starting to like not be as yummy so it was 269 i got two i scoured for those all of the lettuce all of the salad even the organic did not look very good it wasn't worth buying so we're gonna try this again i got some kale some of the kale doesn't look that great some of the kale doesn't look that great sorry for background noise my kids well they live here um the kale was $3, I think, but I was going to try to put it in smoothies and stuff. We'll try it again. Grapes. And honestly, I wasn't impressed with the grapes tonight, but I picked these up. They were $1.89 a pound. They ended up being $4 for that bag. Hopefully those are good. Because my Kroger's had terrible grapes lately. These, Emily loves to snack on these. She will take these and her lunch and everything else. And these actually have different, I don't know what all these colors on here are. They have different ones now so i love these with taco meat you guys know that so i got those bag for me and a bag for him tortilla chips nacho cheese you know ryan does not like these but you guys they did it again they have put those um cool ranch generic cool ranch ones on the back burner they don't have them don't know why it's a seasonal buy if they're not carrying all the time anymore it's been like six months and they don't carry them they carry these so I got those. The kids love those. These are adorable and totally not necessary. These were on sale for $1.99. But look how cute the world's smallest potatoes are. I just thought they would be good to throw in them. Red onions. I wanted sweet potatoes, but they did not have any. I love zucchini this time of year. I love to hide zucchini and things. So I got that because for some reason I'm craving cucumbers and zucchini. My kids would make a face at that. Got some avocados. They were $2.39 a bag. Still the cheapest place to buy them. The church cookies you guys know they're just the cheapest ones to buy i just buy them i call them church cookies uh peanuts then i just stocked up on some stuff we haven't bought in a while because i haven't been in aldi some generic ritz some generic cheez it's the cinnamon crackers and you guys i've been wanting to buy this for a while it was like six dollars before but since it's like not summer anymore and this is generic brand anyway i think i don't actually know anything about this brand i got these 
because I have that cold brew maker, but my cold brew never turns out good. It turns out all like nasty. So I've been wanting to try this. You can use a jar for this. But I'm going to use this in my cold brew maker because um, I've been making reels all the time. It was $2.49, so I thought it was worth it because it's finely ground. So there is that side. We'll come over to the bread corner. So Emily loves bagels. She wanted some bagels. I like bagels sometimes, but I like the super overpriced, um, what are they called? I can't even think of them, the protein type bagel. They don't sell them there. Um, I will get them at the discount bakery store. You have to buy stuff there and freeze it because it goes bad really quick. But uh, but I like to get those. Emily likes bagels, so I got those for her. Buns, just because it'll turn into burgers at some point. Bread, we, somehow the bread didn't survive the car ride or the trip in the house. It is squished. So, four loaves of squished bread. You guys know tortillas. Does seem like a bigger, like this must be a big pack. It is, it's a family pack. I don't remember all these having a family pack, but it was only $2 that and as much as we eat taco stuff unexpectedly in this house why not i love these these are like three dollars and something i love these protein wraps so i got those for me coming over here got a thing of butter which this used to be like 99 cents it's a dollar 89 now i got this for me they actually all these started carrying the 99 cents or 99 percent lean ground turkey I hadn't seen that in there but i went and just got this because it was a little bit cheaper than the other sour cream that's for a recipe you guys i talked about this all last year and they probably continued to carry this long after they needed to but this pumpkin pie hummus is really 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 good and you can put a little bit of whipped cream on it put it like on something as like a dessert this is really good it tastes just like pumpkin pie and it's made out of hummus and i know that sounds gross but it's really good i think some of you ended up trying it because i told you um emily loves hummus so I still have tahini in there I got last year from Trader Joe's or whatever I went. But I've still yet to make my own. Um, two things of eggs. They were $1.29 each this week. Chip corner is all spread out. So we got those chips. Gavin got into those already. This was actually like, what, 10 cents off? But they had this. Still cheaper to buy this at Aldi. And this is really good. Um, nacho cheese chips, like I told you guys. This, I've been putting on coffee and things. This is really, really good. This bourbon caramel. This is a bigger bottle. Same uh, macros, if you're looking at that, as the regular. And a bigger bottle, and it's got flavor in it. And it was like, what, $2.79, I think? And that's what the regular is. You guys, I don't know what happens at Aldi. I talk about this every video. But people go nuts for the zero sugar French vanilla. I have to climb and move boxes and scour the like thing. Everybody leaves hazelnut and every other flavor that there possibly is. But they take the French vanilla and like hides it if it's even there. So I scoured for that. <laughs> chocolate seasoning I always buy. I always buy chocolate chips because I'm going to make the pumpkin muffins again. You guys, I haven't shared it this year. And I'll try to share it again because some of you really like them. And I actually have a subscriber that sent me a recipe I'm going to try of hers. So I think I might do that coming up. Let me know your thoughts on that. Like having like sub subscribers send me recipes and I'll try to make them. I don't know why this is popping up. I already took one out. Hopefully it's not poisoned. But um, this is 99 cents. And I don't know why. Like the cucumbers and the other stuff, I'm craving it. So um, I got those. I always pick this up. They had this on sale, but not by much. It was probably 30 cents off. So I picked this up because we love, I love the Greek yogurt. And this one doesn't have the sugar in it. This is just like, um, if you guys have never had this, I'm trying to think of the brand. Uh, I think it's popular in Wisconsin. Um, I cannot think of the name of that cheese brand. Um, oh my goodness. It's the best cheese. And it's super pricey. But I didn't... They don't have it there. This is the generic, and usually this is marked up. But this was on sale this week, so this made it a lot cheaper than even the regular cheese. And this is just so good. As you guys know, we love cheese. I've never bought pepper jack cheese in a bag like this, shredded. So I went ahead and did that this week because we love pepper jack. Got some butternut squash. I was looking at the big things of it, and I thought about cooking it in the oven and stuff. But right now it's busy, so I had to face facts that I probably wouldn't do it. So I just picked this bag up because I was wanting that. This was um, the thing I've been dying to go to Aldi and get. They did not have the pepper jack flavor. They didn't have any of the good flavors. Emily climbed the wall to get these. They only had the plain. 
but you guys, it's like $5 for one of these at Kroger. I will not pay that. These are like two something there. So I got two of these because me and Emily, Lainey, Ryan like them. Lainey likes the fake cheese. Then Emily picked up Moose Tracks ice cream for this week. Um, some french fries just to have for busy nights. Lainey's been wanting french toast sticks. And these went in like a day last time with our family size. So I got those. Got some cinnamon rolls because there's something I'm wanting to try. This, I got that. I know someone's going to make a face about it. But that to go with this. The apple pie filling they had in Aldi. Oh, there was something I wanted to make that was easy recipe to share with you guys. Biscuits just to have on hand. I haven't had them in a while. Got some corn dogs because they love corn dogs. They went really fast last time. We were totally out of oatmeal. I make those protein balls like crazy. And the girls actually really like oatmeal. So I got some more oatmeal. Generic Pop-Tarts just to have on the go. So the cheapest cereal they had was this. And they like when I make the Cheerio bars. So I went ahead and got that. I was trying to find my flatbread things. They haven't, I, they didn't have them anywhere and there was nowhere to put them. Um, so I got these to try for myself to go with like the cheese. Um, Emily likes these in the morning. She got those. You guys know and you guys laugh and comment. But Lainey doesn't like the real brands of this. And these are pricey at all. These are like $3.49 for this little box. Lainey loves these. They are her favorite thing for breakfast. So I got those. She likes to eat that with fruit. Pumpkin pie filling. I got two things of green chilies because we love them. Peanut butter for Ryan. I still to this day don't know why they don't sell the big thing of peanut butter in there anymore. Uh, olive oil because we were out. I was trying to hold off and get it at Sam's to renew my membership, but I went ahead and got it. Sugar, we were just completely out. Um, foil. Then I, I don't think I've ever bought these before. When I was a kid, I loved this kind of stuff. Like the prepackaged ones. As I'm older, I think it's kind of gross. But Gab and them are always like if we're on the go or somewhere. That way I have something in the freezer because I don't have time to prep it right now. We'll get back into that in the winter and prepping food. But I went ahead and just got those. So, all of this food here, then all of this food here, and all of this food was $2.08. Okay, you guys, I have to, have to, have to share this. I'm sharing this over on my Instagram, Small Town 6. I wanted to share this. This company, this is not sponsored or anything. All of my coffee friends, Melissa, Melissa Cooper always watches, and she has a channel which you should check out. And then my friend Rachel, Ray of Sunshine on Instagram, and Carla McKenzie. You guys know Carla, uh, or McKenzie. Um, you guys, they got me hooked on wanting to make specialty coffees. But I have no clue what I'm doing with all that other stuff. So Casa Brews is a company, and I'm sharing all kinds of reels on there. I'm trying to do daily reels because I'm so fascinated with this. So this one's easier for me to learn. This is smaller. One day I'll get the big grinder one that grind your own beans um, melissa roast her beans like craziness but you guys i i was not convinced because i do do nespresso and all the other types of coffees in the pods and i do the like ryan is just a simple guy he likes the uh, basket coffee but you guys when i made this the other day because ryan's not even a no he's a no frills thing like, he doesn't even <laughs> want the k cups or the pods or anything he just wants brewed coffee and he's fine he doesn't care but you guys, I made him a coffee with this the other day. and Like I did the espresso and mixed it with the milk and frothed it and did it. He is hooked. He loved it. And I'm going to be sharing a lot of that with you guys. Like how you operate it. It's beautiful. It's easy to do. You can froth your own milk. It's got like one cup and two cup. And it is amazing. Like I don't even care about going to Starbucks now. Also, my favorite coffee right now. I freaking love Barrier House. Berry House. I probably didn't say that right. They are so good to me. This is not sponsored, but they do send me coffee to try. And you guys, Ryan despises hazelnut coffee or anything hazelnut. He loves this. And this mixed with this makes my house smell like heaven. Like I am excited to wake up to just have a, my house smell like this. This is amazing. This is probably hands down the best coffee I've ever had. That hazelnut. Ryan said this is his favorite coffee, like out of Starbucks, out of like any homebrewed coffee, out of any coffee he's ever had. And that is big for him because he, you know, he likes caramel, but he loves this dark mystery coffee. He found my stash of it and he took over 
and drank my bag of coffee. And he said that is hands down like the best coffee he's ever had. Clay Avenue is really good coffee. And then they've got this um, seasonal flavor, pumpkin spice. So I love it, you guys. I love Berry House. This isn't sponsored. They didn't ask me to do this. I just find a product. I love it and I want to share it. So I only thought it was right to share that with you guys. And I can link their, uh, their website down below. But that has been my go-to coffee. I haven't even ordered an espresso in forever. I'll show you my coffee machine real quick. Here's my little coffee bar, you guys. Look at this cute machine from Casa Brews. So it's so pretty, like it lights up. Here is the frother over here I need to wipe off. Here is the, is it a tamper, this thing? And then it's got little mini espresso cup I got from, um, or little uh, espresso cup I got from Timu. But anyway, you guys, so easy. I'll be sharing this more and more. Those are my things for New England Stories I've shared before. There's my Nespresso. There's my original Insignia. And then this is my Ninja that I have because our other coffee went out. And then here is my um, ice maker. I love my ice maker from, from Friesemer. And then I've still got my new air fridges. But you guys, I'm going to need to expand this somehow because I'm running out of room and I'm hooked. I love coffee. But that is my new coffee ma machine that I had to show you. And it's so cheap, like compared to the Breville and all those companies that, Lord, those are so expensive. This was like a little over $100. So really not bad at all for what you get for making coffee like that at home. So the meal plan for the week, if we follow the meal plan for the week, I need to put it on my pretty little board, but I don't have anything to write it with. So I was planning to make, um, let's see, Sunday, I was planning to try to make Salisbury steak because we have meat down in the freezer. I was going to make the Salisbury steak. I was going to make mashed potatoes because I think we have those. And green beans, but I forgot to buy the green beans. So maybe a different vegetable that we have in the freezer. We'll see what we have. We still have some stuff. Slim pickings. It's almost time to stock up on stuff, but I haven't done it yet. I'm waiting. So that will be Sunday's dinner. Set, um, my, you guys are going to see this on Tuesday, but I'm just telling you in the order I'm thinking of it. Um, Monday, I'm going to try to make meatloaf um, because Ryan loves meatloaf. The boys like meatloaf. He's going to try to make some meatloaf. There's these macaroni and cheese cups. If I ever make these, I'm hoping to. It's off that um, macros plan thing. So it looked really good. And my friend Nicole Burgess, I think Nicole, did she make them? Or she talked about them? I don't know. She makes a lot of yummy food. Um, but I wanted to make those. Um, so I'm planning to make those, planning to make that, and then we'll have a vegetable because I didn't pick up the corn. And then let's see, we are going to probably make the, either the in and out burgers this week or we will make the Big Mac wraps that I made before since I picked up wraps because um, I really like those. Those are easy. We've got fries to go with those. Um, another meal that we'll have this week, I want to make um, potato soup. I was going to try to make homestyle homemade potato soup instead of like bagged hash brown stuff and bacon sandwiches because um, they like bacon sandwiches to go with it. I wanted to try to do homemade pizza one day. We'll see if I get around to doing that because I'm not really good with the dough, like making my own dough. I think Ryan could probably make it because he's pretty good with rolling out like cookie stuff, dough, baked stuff like that. I've never been good at that and getting the flour sifted into it and all that stuff. And then we will probably make, um, I'm trying to think what the other meal is going to be this week. Because we have a football game on Friday night out of town. And then we are supposed to go to Baltimore to see the Ravens play. Um, but Tanner is also supposed to play in a, if he wins tomorrow, um, then he will go on and play another playoff game. And it's three hours away. So we're going to try to figure out how we can wing all of this football in one weekend far away. But anyway, um, I will let you know what that other meal was. I can't even think of it. It was going to be meatloaf, Salisbury steak, uh, potato soup, probably homemade pizza, and like the In-N-Out burgers or Big Mac wraps. And that's my meal plan. And I'll be sharing some of those recipes with you because they're easy. But you guys, I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to check out the group playlist. Don't forget to check out Jess's channel. And you guys, I'll see you in the next one. Love ya. Bye.